Now, I don't know how many times we have to say it, but Wednesday is absolutely the best day of wrestling as far as TV is considered. You've got NXT, you've got 205 Live, you have NXT UK. This is the Midweek Wrap-Up. I am Travis Colt. Let's talk about what happened. Running solo, uh, holiday schedule, messed it up. Kevin Hawk will be back next week. All right, so we open up NXT with EC3 defeating Bobby Fish and then all of Undisputed Era who were uh, ta- talking about how 2019 is going to be their year as if 2018 already hasn't been, saying 2019 they will all be draped in gold. Uh, they start to beat down on EC3. EC3 is saved by Heavy Machinery, setting up more of that uh, that tag team feud going on because Heavy Machinery have their eyes on Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong. Then we found out that Dakota Dakota Kai and Io Shirai definitely want to face Jessamyn Duke and Marina Shafir. They're, they accepted, but it was from Shayna who said that they accepted. So they accept, and we are having that match next week. Uh, and then Shayna talked about the upcoming number one contenders match. She doesn't care who wins because it's going to end the same way. She's leaving with a title, and they're leaving with a hospital bill. And uh, so, yeah, we still have two weeks before that number one contenders match. Over the weekend, Lacey Evans joins Bianca Belair in that number one contenders match by uh, by qualifying. And on NXT this week, Mia Yim defeated Reyna Gonzalez. So she is now the third entrant into that four-way match. We then had Oni and Danny defeat the Mighty again. The Mighty didn't get to attack them this time. So Oni and Danny got a little bit of revenge for a couple of weeks ago. Uh, next week, we are officially getting Aleister Black versus Johnny Gargano in a cage match. Both men very adamant. Uh, Johnny saying that he's ready to put down Aleister Black, and Aleister just warns Johnny that he has no feelings about this match. He's just looking forward to finally ending Johnny Gargano and making sure he fades to black. Uh, next week will also be the debut of Dominic Dijakovic. Man, that, that name is so hard to say. Um, Dominic, Dijak, whatever. Uh, excited to see him, though. Uh, one of my favorites from ROH. Glad to see him uh, getting his spot on NXT. And in the main event, Ricochet. The open contract was accepted by Prince Pretty Tyler Breeze. Ricochet successfully defending the NXT North American Championship against Tyler Breeze in a fantastic match. Match. Moving on to 205 Live, we had uh, the two matches that were set last week. Originally, it was supposed to be Buddy Murphy versus Noam Dar. Noam Dar was not medically cleared, so Buddy Murphy ended up defeating Grand Metalik in a fantastic match. Uh, Drake Maverick was talking to uh, the Brian Kendrick and Tozawa, saying that next week they're going to be in a tag team street fight against Gulak and Gallagher. Um, Kendrick's ready. Kendrick actually apologized to Drake for the things that he was doing uh, prior to uh, joining up with Gulak, you know, and you know, apologized to uh, Tazawa for what he did, saying that he was a different man. Tazawa said, yes, you are different, but you still look the same, but I have an idea. So apparently Tazawa has some sort of makeover idea for the Brian Kendrick. Very interested to see where that goes. And then he fired Drake Maverick because Drake Maverick was the reason that the Authors of Pain lost the Raw Tag Team titles. Oh, and also uh, Gulak and Gallagher responded, and they are, needless to say, very ready for the street fight. Uh, Also next week on 205 Live, Leo Rush will return to the Cruiserweight division. Um... And it looks like the respect between Arya Davari and Hideo Itami has been received. Uh, Hideo actually shaking his hand and congratulating him, saying that he's very impressed on what Davari is doing. And Davari said that he's more into fighting than Flash as far as the cruiserweight division goes. So we'll see where that ends up for uh, Davari and Hideo. And in the main event, we had Cedric Alexander defeat Tony Nese. Had a little bit of a brawl with Buddy Murphy actually ended up running Buddy Murphy off, so Cedric gets a little bit of uh, momentum, or at least kind of has the upper hand heading into his Cruiserweight title match this Sunday at TLC. Then we move to NXT UK episode 15, where we have the unveiling of the NXT UK tag team titles. Uh, 
both uh, Sid Scala and Triple H, uh, letting the tag team division know that it's their time to impress. It's their time to head towards gold. Uh, Flash Morgan Webster defeated Fabian Eichner, getting a little bit of revenge for his buddy Mark Andrews. Amir Jordan said that he and Kenny Williams are ready to go for gold. Uh, they've been a tag team for a while, haven't really had that much success, um, and it didn't go well for them because they did lose to James Drake and uh, Zach Gibson. Uh, Isla Dawn defeated Killer Kelly and then had a uh, little bit of a discussion with Rhea Ripley. This is now turned into next week. Now, not on the next episode that I'm going to talk about, but next week we're going to have Isla Dawn challenging Rhea Ripley for the NXT UK Women's Championship. And then in the main event, Joe Coffey defeated Trent Seven in a very, very physical match. And on NXT UK episode 16, we had Gallus defeat Ashton Smith and Ligero. Uh, Gallus being represented by Wolfgang and Joe Coffey, or and Mark Coffey, as opposed to the Coffey Bros going for the tag team titles. Interesting choice. But hey, it works. Uh, Joseph Connors defeated Jack Stars. Tyson T-Bone and Saxon Huxley are. Uh, apparently teaming up to go for the tag team gold, and we heard a little bit more from uh, James Drake and Zach Gibson saying that they are more than ready, and they are pretty much guaranteeing that they're going to be the first ever NXT UK tag team champions. Uh, Ginny defeated Zaya Brookside, and then in the main event, Dave Mastiff remains undefeated by defeating Eddie Dennis, and so yeah, Dave Mastiff, the only undefeated person in NXT, NXT UK, excuse me. So that is what happened. I'm gonna talk about my like, my love. I'm gonna tell you right now. There's, I didn't really dislike anything. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm still, I'm hoping Isla Dawn gets a little better. Hopefully, her match with Rhea Ripley. I do say that the fact that she's kind of got this baby face thing going that. There's a little bit more to latch on to, um, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough. We'll find out next week with the uh, title match. But my like, oh man, there's a couple of them here. I, I'm, you know, because I'm going by myself. I'll, I'll tell you right now. Um, I liked. I always like Oni and Danny uh, as a tag team, and their match against the Mighty was really good. Uh, 205 Live. I, I liked both of the singles matches. Um, it was, you know, it was fun to watch both champion and challenger get a little bit of a tune-up prior to this big match coming up. I'm excited. I wish they were getting the ladder match instead of um, Elias and Trashley, but um, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, I honestly, I don't think Cedric and Buddy need a stipulation, but a ladder match for the cruiserweight title would be pretty fantastic. Um, and then on UK, I do like the continuous build of the tag team division. I'm interested to see how some of these duos are going to work together. Like James Drake and Zach, Zach Gibson are great. Uh, Saxon Huxley and Tyson T-Bone is an interesting combination, but I'm, you know, I'm interested in seeing how this is going. Uh, and also, I'm, you know, Flash Morgan Webster and Mark Andrews are going to make a great tag team as well. But as far as my love goes, it cannot be anything other than Ricochet versus Tyler Breeze. I will say, Tyler Breeze did uh, spoil this for me. I don't, I don't read spoilers. I don't read taping results. I don't, I don't read any of that stuff. But I have been watching Tyler Breeze uh, on his streaming page. Him, Ty Dillinger, and Baron Corbin have their own uh, Twitch stream. And so, unfortunately, he's like, hey, you know, people should really watch NXT tomorrow. And I was like, oh, I know what's going to happen. But it did not ruin the match in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it just continues to show that Tyler Breeze is a fantastic, uh, a fantastic wrestler, has so much to give to the business, works amazingly well with Ricochet. Of course, I don't think there's anyone that doesn't work well with Ricochet, but I mean, Tyler Breeze is still is in Ricochet's wheelhouse. He's one of the smaller guys. He's fast paced. He's got a lot of great things. This match, I mean, the fact that Tyler Breeze lately has been a jobber 
and him and Fandango haven't exactly had the greatest run. It's It was just nice to see Tyler Breeze go out there and do what Tyler Breeze does and just completely rock it. Like, it was... It harkened back to what he was in NXT. He was such a big star. He was part of the main event picture. He had some fantastic standout matches with people like Sami Zayn and Neville and Tyson Kidd. And there was just there was so much that Tyler Breeze had. And to see him go in there, go against Ricochet, they had the great story that they're like, yeah, he he was never NXT tag team champion. He was never NXT champion. So he wants gold. And so for him to go against Ricochet was just so much fun. Fantastic all the way through. Great stuff from both guys. Killed it. Absolutely my love. Um, yeah, like I said, other than uh, other than Isla Dawn, you know, my hope for Isla Dawn to get a little better. Her match with Killer Kelly was, you know, it was all right. It was not Ginny versus Zaya Brookside. Their match was way better. Um which just makes me want Ginny and or Zaya Brookside to be pushed towards a title match uh, rather than Isla Dawn or Killer Kelly. Uh, which is sad because I like Isla Dawn and I like Killer Kelly, but I'm just, I'm wanting more. It's just, it's not, whatever they've got going on, it's not quite working. Um, but yeah, I mean, th- this, man, w- Wednesday is great. These these four these four episodes in a row were just a fantastic way to cap off this week. Uh, I'm hoping that TLC uh, is able to keep up the momentum. Uh, the shows have just gotten better. You know, Raw was decent this week. SmackDown was pretty good. This show was all good. It's your turn, TLC. Speaking of TLC, coming up next, you're gonna have our predictions uh, for TLC. Uh, so be sure to play along. Let us know who you think is going to win. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, thank you to everyone who already has done all those things. We appreciate you guys being part of our show, being part of the conversation. Post down in the comments what your favorite parts of NXT, NXT UK, 205 Live, anything. Let us know what you liked. Uh, let's get a discussion going because that's what we do here. This is where fans talk wrestling what we do uh be sure to follow us on the various social media so click all those links down below you can check out our podcast where you get this review and all of our regular reviews in podcast form you will not get predictions in podcast form so you want to stay here and subscribe to this channel but you should also subscribe to reasonable wrestling fans it's reasonable with a w like wrestling where we have the list with kevin hawk question of the week with thomas wolf other videos coming very soon uh, me and thomas are working on a project uh we'll be posting videos hopefully at the latest, the beginning of 2019, but you can go check out an entire playlist of unboxing videos where we get cool shirts like this uh, kind of Seth Rollins-y type shirt. We get Funkos, we get Micro Brawlers, we get Braun, we get all kinds of stuff. And you can check out the newest addition to the Punishment playlist where we unveil the Wheel of Punishment so you get to see what terrible thing I had to do because I was terrible at guessing what happened at War Games and Survivor Series. But for now, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at whatever video you decide to watch next. Oh, jeez. I I forgot about this other note. Fuck Modus.